Welcome friends, welcome back to the kitchen. Um, if you've been following along on the channel, you'll know my friend Jamie stopped by and we started to break down a pig. And one of the first things that we pulled out of the pig was this, and this is leaf fat. So what I'm gonna get you to do is just grab the leaf lard and then just pull it back towards the ham and it'll just pull right out. Just, yep. If it's attached to that kidney, which it shouldn't, shouldn't be too big of a problem for you. There we go, there it is. So leaf fat hangs inside the animal around the organs. Um, it's not associated with any muscle group at all, so it's just fat and a little bit of membrane. And this is prized for making lard. Now, um, it's also difficult to get. So if you can't get leaf fat, you can do exactly the same process that I'm doing today, but use back fat. And so you just want to slice it up and you don't have to chop it too fine. You just want to break through the membrane a little bit. And if you leave it in strips like this, it's going to be just perfect. And it really helps if you've put this in the fridge or maybe the freezer for about an hour just to firm it up. It makes it easier to cut and a lot less greasy on your fingers. Now I'm just throwing it in a Dutch oven, a small Dutch oven that I have here, something that you can put in the oven uh, to render the fat out. And you want to preheat your oven to somewhere between 225 and 250 degrees Fahrenheit. Doesn't need to be any hotter than that. That temperature will render the fat, but it's not going to color the, the fat at all. It's not going to bring it to a temperature where it starts to brown. And it's certainly not going to bring it to a temperature where it would start to burn. Which brings me to the next thing. Um, if you've watched the, the video I did on doing this rendering out beef fat, pretty much exactly the same process. Uh, I spoke about how a lot of people tell you to put a quarter cup of water in the bottom so that it doesn't burn. Um, if you're using temperatures that are high enough that it's going to burn, you're way too hot. Uh, the second thing is, if there's any residual water in your fat, uh, your fat is going to go bad very quickly. You don't want to have any water at all in the finished product. So it's best not to add any water at the beginning if you don't have to. Um, that sort of takes away that biggest problem because otherwise the fat will go rancid um, and you definitely don't want that. So I've got this cut up, put it into the Dutch oven and put on a lid. Now if you don't have a cast iron Dutch oven, don't worry, you can use any pot that you can put in the oven that you can put a lid on. And if you don't have a pot that you can put in the oven with a lid on, just cover it with tin foil. Um, you can put this in a frying pan. If you have a cast iron frying pan, this would be perfect to do. And I'm going to stick this in the oven and it's going to go for three and a half to four hours. And at about the one hour point, I'm going to pull it out and just give it a stir and then stick it back in. Okay, so this has been in the oven for four or five hours. Um, that's kind of the beauty of this method. You don't have to really worry about it. You can get on with your day, you can do a whole pile of other things and just leave this in the oven. Uh, if you don't go past six hours, everything's fine. So got a strainer and a heat proof glass jug and I'm just going to pour off the oil and strain out the big bits. You don't get a whole lot of, of lard from one piece of, of leaf fat but um, there's enough in there that I'm going to be able to use this when I make the prosciutto. Give it a try. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.